If necessary, you can take words within your document or paragraphs or lines, copy them, and paste them in other places in your document. For example, I could go ahead and select this whole line by coming over here in the margin. You see how my arrow is pointing inwards? Click on it and it selects the whole line or click off in a blank area and then double click to select a word, triple click to select the whole line or paragraph. Or come over here to the far left and when you see your eye beam just in front of the H, click and keep your left mouse button held down and then move or drag and you can select the whole text that way too. Once you have your text selected, then you can say, of the text that I've selected, I want to copy it, and you can do it one of a couple of ways. You can either move your mouse over the selected text and right click, and in your menu, get copy, left click on copy. Now when you copy something, there's no dancing clown that comes out and says, hey, you just copied me. Just trust it, it's copied. Or you can come up here on the home tab in the clipboard group and click on copy. Or when you hover over copy, it gives you the shortcut, control C. So just by having something selected and holding down the control key and the letter C and tapping the letter C, it'll copy the text that you have selected here. Then click somewhere else in your document and paste it. And there's three ways that you can paste. You can either, when in doubt, right click and select paste. Or you can come up here again in the clipboard group and click paste. Of course, you have the drop down arrow for more additional options like paste or paste special. When you do a paste special, you can do the paste as unformatted text, so if the text was formatted, like it was bold in italics and it had a different color, you can say go ahead and paste it, but don't bring over the formatting. Keep it plain, okay? And then finally, if you hover over the paste button, it gives you the shortcut, Control V as in Victor, so Control and tap the V key on the keyboard and it pastes, and you can keep pasting until the cows come home. Now I'm going to go ahead and delete all this by over here in the margin clicking so it selects the line, the whole line, and moving while holding the left mouse button down and dragging and selecting all the lines and hitting the delete key on the keyboard. Now that's copying and pasting. I can also cut and paste. So in other words, if I typed in this line here and I'm like, that's not supposed to be there, or maybe this word, I can go ahead and click and drag to select the word, or like I said before, just double click on the word. And you can cut one of three ways. Again, right click, come up here in the clipboard, click on cut, or the shortcut is Control X. So I'm going to come down here and click on Cut. It disappears. It's now sitting on the paste board here. So when I come down here or anywhere and I come up here and click Paste, it puts it in there. Or I can right click and paste. Or Control V as in Victor to paste. And I can keep pasting. Of course, I'll come up here and hit Undo. Or Control Z. Control Z will keep undoing all the things that I just did. And then another way to move your words or your text around is after you select them, you can also, after you highlight it, move in the center of the selection, click and drag, and notice how my pointer just below it has a little outline box. That means it's moving something, and wherever my little line is when I let go, that's where it dumps it to. Okay, so click and drag your selection, and it will move what you selected around. So cutting and pasting is good if you've got a long distance to go, clicking and dragging if it's just a short distance, okay? I'll go ahead and undo that. Now what if I want to go ahead and copy it from one document to another or from one word pad to another? As you recall, I have Harry Plopper here, but if I come up here and click on Minimize, down to the taskbar, I also have Ron Wassel. Right click on him, and then come up to open with WordPad. So now down the taskbar, I have Harry Plopper and Ron. So if I come over here in Ron, and I double click on his name and right click and copy, and come down here and click on Harry, click in a blank area, and paste. So I can copy and paste from one application to another, or in this case between two WordPad documents. Better yet, if I want to be able to compare them side by side, as you recall in an earlier training video, just come down here and right click in a blank area on the taskbar, and say that you want to see these windows. Let's do side by side. Cool, there we go. So there's Harry and there's Ron. So I can come over here and, whoops, see it should be Dear Ron, so not Harry. But in any case, I can go ahead and select from one and right click and copy and paste it another and vice versa. In fact, I can actually click and drag. And notice my little pointer has a little plus sign. That means it wants to create a copy. It won't actually move the text from one document to another, but it'll create a copy of it. 
Not only that, but when you select text within a document and you know how you click and drag it, if you want to create a copy of it within that same document, watch my pointer just below it. When I push or hold down the control key, it gives me a little plus sign. That means that wherever I move my little line to and I let go of the mouse, it'll do a copy and then I can let go of the control key. In any case, I created a mess here, so to undo all this is to close out of it and don't save any of these. So when I open it back up, right click to open with WordPad, double click the title bar to maximize it. It's back to where it was because again, I didn't save it. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.